What's going on guys? Brad Scott here with bradscottvisuals.com and today I have an update uh, for what the GoPro Hero 4 is going to unleash. Um, they should be able to do their official release and tell you all the specs of the camera um, coming up mid-October or so and I'm guessing the cameras, the GoPro Hero 4 will probably come out around March so if you need a GoPro before then, I would suggest buying the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, uh, which is more than enough to shoot some amazing footage and photos. But um, I wanted to run through some of the specs and talk about what you guys can expect with the GoPro Hero 4. Um, the biggest thing, in my opinion, is the ability to shoot 4K um, at 30 frames per second. The GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Editions would shoot 4K in 15 frames a second, which isn't really a usable format unless you're trying to do um, some sort of time-lapse work with it. Uh, but you just shoot time-lapse with still images anyways if you want to get better quality. So um, the 4K isn't really usable with the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Editions, uh, but it will be fully usable. Um, this is going to be great for... Uh, doing anything with like drones if you want to get aerial shots in 4k uh, it's gonna be amazing for that and uh, the next big feature that they're releasing um, I'm guessing they're gonna come up with uh, two different models of the hero 4 the black edition which will shoot the 4k with 30 frames a second um, 1080p uh, HD is going to be available to shoot in 120 frames a second which is nice for those really slow motion shots if you want to get ultra slow motion shots uh, you can bump it down to 720 HD and you'll be able to shoot at um, 240 frames a second so if you're using any type of uh, like Twixter on your editing you can really slow it down super slow motion and it's not going to be glitchy at all it'll be very smooth slow motion um, it looks like the GoPro um, Hero 4 Silver Edition will be coming with a built-in um, screen on the back so you can actually see what you're doing. I'm not sure if they're going to have that in the Black Edition, but it looks um, as though all the stats for the Silver Edition are going to be about the same as the 3 Plus, um, 4K at 15 frames a second. 1080 at 60 frames a second and 720 at 120 frames a second. Um, I'm guessing this, uh, the Hero 4 Black Edition is probably going to be a lot better for low light. Uh, they're probably uh, going to increase the ISO sensitivity and they might be releasing some sort of manual control. Um, it's kind of all up in the air right now. This is, uh, if you guys haven't checked out this site yet, it's No Film School. Dot com. They always come up with some awesome stuff, great tutorials. Um, they're always kind of the first guys to release news on new cameras that are um, going to be helpful for cinematography. So go check them out, nofilmschool.com. Uh, also go check out my website at bradscottvisuals.com. But I'm pretty excited. I'm definitely going to be putting in a pre-order when they are available to do so for the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Um, but as of now, the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition is more than enough. You can get amazing shots with it. Um, if you have any comments uh, or questions, just do that in the comments section below. And remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, check out more of my videos. Thanks, guys.